So I'm going to try and give you a simple tutorial um, for this app, uh, which in an American accent is Plodograph. In my English accent, it doesn't sound quite as good. It sounds something like Plotograph. Um, so apologies for that. Um, anyway, so here we go. Uh, first of all, once you're into the app, there's a round circle here with a plus, which you add um, one of your images to. I suggest you choose an image that already has the potential of movement. I'm going to choose this one. This is some plums in my mum's garden with a bonfire in the background. And I think what I want to do is animate the smoke of the bonfire and keep everything else still. So firstly, I would say, have a look at these tools along the bottom. We have Animate, Mask, Eraser, Anchor. The little arrow is Play. We've got Select, Speed, Crop and Share. I think I've used Crop once, but I don't know, maybe other people like... I think I basically I upload a photo that's already cropped, but, you know, you never know. You can have a play around on it. Um, what I do first is isolate areas that I know... I don't want to move. So in this case, I don't want the plums to move and some of the background. So I'm going to use the mask tool. The mask tool comes up quite big, the circumference of what's going to be covered, as you can see like that, but you can alter that. So I'm reducing the size there or making it larger. Make it large just at first because I know there's quite a lot of area I want covered. And reduce the size. Now what you can also do is zoom in on the image. If you feel you've got fat fingers or something, you can get much more precision by zooming in. I'm also going to isolate these twigs. If you go over the edges, that's quite a, you can use the eraser tool. And again, alter the size, zoom in. And then you can just tidy bits up. I'm going to go back into the masking and just get a bit of that. Because on this app, basically any bits that you don't mask, they will have the potential to move, even tiny little elements. So even that bit might. So oh, I'm going to mask this as well. Uh, we'll see. You can always go back and alter stuff. So at this, this is the point where you can animate or start to animate um, the element of movement. So I'm going to go here to the little animate icon and it basically gives you arrows of movement if you can see that. So I've put an arrow in there going upwards because that's basically what the smoke does. At this point I basically keep going to play to keep checking So that is the first element of the movement. And I think, as you can see, this, this area here looks a bit unrealistic. It's almost like I want to mask stuff around it. How shall I go to mask? Yeah, I'll go to mask first. I'm going to mask the whole bonfire. Maybe even these little bits of grass and see what that looks like. Go back to play. So that's getting there, but for my taste, I'm trying to get this in focus so you can see. There's you can sort of see where the masking is. So I'm going to erase a little bit around it and use the anchor tool now because that stops some movement. 
and might make it look a little bit more realistic or subtle. Ah, oh, you see, that's better. However, you can probably see what I meant. You, can you see this bit moving here? It's a bit of the twig movement. And I'm going to use the anchor tool to stop that as well. It's still going a little bit. There. So that's stopped that. I have to say at this point, if you can hear some music in the background, <laughs> my son is watching um, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane and that's Betty Davis singing in a slightly frightening way in the background. <laughs> um, okay, so I've got, I, I would tidy little bits and pieces up here. Again, I'm going to go back to that. Oh, I thought, you see, I thought there was some stillness here, but actually it's, it's because of an anchor. So what I would do now is go to select and I'm going to remove that. Now, can you see it's turned green and gives you the option of deleting, which I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to play. It's getting there. I think at this point, it, it, this is where I fine tune things and work out where I might have erased too much or masked too much. But for me, that now looks like a sort of moving, well, I've animated the smoke. That's sort of how it was. Um, you can also alter the speed. So if we do the smoke really fast, I mean, personally, I think that looks a little bit more unrealistic. And I think these um, work much better when they're quite subtle and people kind of almost search for something. So I'm just going to go for a middle, middle speed there. And basically that's it. So then you go to share. I go to video because I don't share it, save it as a GIF. And you can either save it on your camera roll, which is a 10 second save or an Instagram three second save. I'm going to save it as a three second save to my camera roll. And that's it, basically done.